before the Oscar-winning movie The Artist, there was Show People. Hi, I'm Rob, and this is RBND Reviews. And with a wider interest in silent movies thanks to The Artist, which won Best Picture, Best Director, and Best Actor, I decided to review this movie. Uh, for one, this is an actual silent from the silent era, and two, there's a subplot in The Artist involving a character named Pepe Miller, played by Bernice Bejo, who is... Feature, features her going from being an extra in the movies and working her way to the top to becoming a big star. Uh, show Peach, uh, People features a very similar story, although the difference is the artist is more like a tribute to silent movies, while Show People is more like a parody and satire of silent movies, uh, the attitudes of the big stars at the time, as well as the filmmaking process that was used at this period. <laughs> A uh, lively and fun backstage comedy was made in 1928 by MGM, and it stars Marion Davies as the sweet, naive Peggy Pepper who leaves Georgia to become a big star on the big screen. Um, she starts out at the bottom working in slapstick comedies with Billy Boone at a very low-budget studio, and Boone is played by the equally forgotten William Peggy, Peggy uh, signs with a major studio, and then she becomes a self-centered and arrogant, snobby person. But can Billy bring her to her senses before her career fizzles out. Um, show people, like I said, parodies um, a lot of things from that era, and my favorite scene in this movie is when Peggy is trying to shoot an emotional scene, and they have musicians on the set to try to create uh, mood music, which was actually quite common during the silent era backstage at the time. And as I mentioned, uh, this movie stars Marion Davies, who is sadly forgotten now, except by some film historians. And she was uh, pretty much the mistress to newspaper owner William Randolph Hearst. And uh, they were rumored to have inspired the leading characters in Citizen Kane, although Orson Welles denied this. But Hearst believed that that was true, and allegedly he ruined Orson Welles' film career just as it, as it was starting. But um, Hearst saw Davies in a stage review and tr transformed her into a movie star, and she appeared in movies from 1924 until 1937. And Hearst kept putting her in dramas, but Davies was always at her best when she did comedies, I think. And luckily, show people shows off her comedy timing and her subtle acting. <laughs> Davies and Haynes work very well together, and they do a good job recreating the slapstick style of the era. But what, for me, what was fun about show people was all the current references. Peggy sees a, uh, a poster for hunky romantic star John Gilbert at one point, and if you think today's movies are loaded with cameo appearances, this one uh, has quite a bit too. Um, there's a lot of people in here that uh, are probably forgotten now, like uh, Lou Kelly and Eleanor Glynn, but there's an appearance by Charlie Chaplin without his makeup or his tramp costume. Um, even though this movie was made long ago, I was really surprised at how relevant the film is today. Even today, people are still trying to make it in the entertainment business, whether it's the movies, TV, or music, or on Broadway. And interestingly, when Peggy becomes a major star, she purposely forgets she ever did comedies. Uh, the comedy studio that Peggy starts at in this movie is pretty much like the Max Senate Studios, and it shows that even back then, comedy was still not a highly respected field to be in. And a lot of stars started out in comedies like Gloria Swanson and Jean Harlow, and interestingly, I read that Swanson was once asked about a silent comedy she did, and she just made a face and uh, changed the subject. 
And unfortunately, uh, Marion Davies movies for years were not available. Occasionally, some were, got, were released on video back in the day, but now Warner Brothers has released a few of Davies movies like The Red Mill and another comedy she did called The Patsy. But unfortunately, Show People is still not out on DVD. I ended up finding uh, this video copy on eBay, and I think Show People is a funny and really enjoyable comedy for silent film aficionados as well as people that want to discover the work of this really great neglected silent comedian. I think it's worth tracking down and seeing, and I know occasionally Turner Classic Movies shows it, but Show People I think is very funny and it really should be seen more. Alright, well that's my video on uh, Show People, and feel free to leave any comments about the movie, or Marion Davies, or about this video. Um, I greatly appreciate any, any feedback as well, and uh, thank you very much for watching.